Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing a brand new beer that Paul over at PA Brew News just sent me. So guys, if you have not subscribed to his channel, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Go check it out. He does some amazing reviews. Always pairs it with some pretty badass metal tunes. So if you like that kind of stuff, you will definitely like it. Go give him some love, guys, because he is an awesome guy. So what do I have in front of me? This is Springhouse and the Astounding She Monster Mango IPA. Woo! That is a mouthful. Now, they're actually using real mango in this, and this is only about two weeks old because Paul decided that he wanted to try and get this for me as fresh as possible. And Paul, you know I love that man, so you know what? Let's go ahead and take our first sniff here. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh, my God. It smells like fresh, juicy mango right up front. That is huge. Oh, my God. Mmm. There's some apricot. There's a little bit of grapefruit. There's, like, some tangerine. Definite orange peel. Wow. This thing smells super, super fruity. It definitely smells like it's on the sweeter side as far as IPAs go. Yeah, that mango note is huge, though. Oh, my God. That is... Oh, this smells really good. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, wow. Right away, just like in the aroma, I'm getting a ton of a really juicy, bright, fresh mango right up front. Oh, my God. That is... That is crazy. I mean, it literally tastes like this thing has just been infused with mango right in front of me. It's that fresh. Definitely getting some apricot, a little bit of nectarine, some like candied grapefruit in there. It definitely airs on the sweeter side as far as IPAs are concerned. Wow, this is like super, super fruity though. It's got a lot of stone fruits, but that mango just, wow. It starts with the mango and it completely just takes over the rest of the beer. That is crazy. Definitely getting a lot of sweet caramel. There's some like toffee and sweet bready malt notes on the back end. It kind of, you know, ties everything together. This beer is not too bitter either. So if you guys like your IPAs a little bit more sweet than bitter, this is definitely one to check out. It's got a nice medium body. It kind of has more of a, a full, slightly creamy type of mouthfeel. It's definitely slightly crisp, not nearly as much as a lot though are. And it's definitely sweeter. It's got a little bit of dryness, but mainly it kind of finishes with a slightly more kind of a syrupy type of mouthfeel in the end. Yeah, this is super, super smooth though. Very easy to drink. Very enjoyable. And man, that... That mango is just huge. I've never had a beer that just tastes like fresh squeezed mango juice. That is just, that's insane. I love that. It is definitely a little bit sweeter than I like for my IPAs personally. I would prefer a little bit more bitterness to kind of help dry things out. That being said, it's not cloyingly sweet, so that's good. As far as the rating goes, guys, I'm going with an 8.8 .8 out of 10. This is really enjoyable. You get the mango, you get stone fruit, you get orange peel, grapefruit, Definitely get a little bit of that toffee, caramel, sweet, bready malts on the back end to kind of help keep this more of a balanced beer. It's a little bit sweeter, but you still have that bitterness. It's just not as bitter as I would like. And you know what would be really interesting? If they brewed this with like maybe a blended mosaic and citra to go along with the mango, that would be crazy awesome. As is, this is a really enjoyable beer. And Paul, again, thank you so much, man. All right, so for my musical recommendation, I want you to check out a metal band because you know what? Paul sent me this. And Paul likes metal, and I like metal. So I want you to check out a group by the name of Lord, uh, or Lords, Lord of Doubt, sorry. And their 2010 self-titled record. Now they're a straight up doom metal band. They have a lot of really kick-ass, heavy, slow, crunchy songs. If you like that kind of thing, you will definitely dig this band. All right, guys, that does for this beer review. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.